Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Cancer January 19, 2023. It's all too easy to become entranced by something you think you need with today's transits. This doesn't need to have a price tag this can also extend to the world of emotions. Consider that misjudgment is more likely than usual today. As the day advances, your focus tightens. The Sun and Pluto head toward alignment, and you're tapping into your deeper ambitions. You might get worked up over a problem before getting to a place of empowerment, and it's important to know when to let go. Fortunately, with some self-honesty, this can be an excellent time to recognize areas of your life that require pruning so that you can grow and reach your goals. Today and tomorrow will cause your mane to prickle at the back of your neck. As the sun sizzles forth in the sky, he'll unite in an exact conjunction with powerhouse Pluto. Struggles over power, trauma, and pain may appear now. If single, don't even bother trying to date today. Or if you do, be aware that you could stumble into a fatal attraction that will spin into a controlling but transformative experience. This could end up being one of the most intense connections of your life. But be aware, it could also end up in flames. Seek happiness in all that you do at work. Go after opportunities that will bring you joy when the moon enters Sagittarius. Since your sign will form an auspicious trine to the moon, you may feel notably exuberant while going about your workday. Even the usual mundane tasks are seemingly exciting since you will have the power to turn any responsibility or duty into an adventure. If you get the chance to do so, spend some time working on your passion projects or putting a special spin on your work. The moon's friendly aspect to Neptune over the last few days has helped to shift the focus, for now anyway, onto the planet of dreams focus on your financial dreams rather than on the when, where, and how. When the asteroid Juno, the queen of commitment left last week she left you with the resolve to commit to your financial dreams and resolutions but until Venus returns next week there is a chance to fine tune this. You may feel a rush of exuberance under today's aspect, and the best way to act that out is physically. If you are accustomed to having an exercise schedule, this is a great time to augment it in some way. Increase your level of aerobic exercise, if you walk, start to run once or twice a week, or if you already run, introduce swimming as a cross-training activity. Take this moment to increase and diversify your physical outlets. You might notice that today does not really mesh with your just-want-to-have-fun attitude towards life. While this approach works the majority of the time, every so often you have to let the reality of the financial realm sink in. This is the perspective that this day offers you. Rechannel some of your natural charisma into business opportunities, and you will find that there are some benefits to be gained. Once your pocketbook is a bit plumper, you may want to plan for a celebration. In the heart of the working week, the moon not only returns for its first visit to a playful and creative part of your chart for the year but into a friendly aspect to Jupiter and Juno, just as the king and queen of the Olympian gods have come together in an adventurous part of your chart for the first time in three decades. Fortunately, with Mercury at a standstill in his last full day in retrograde motion in your work sector and Uranus his last week in retrograde motion in your career sector, the professional gods have already pushed the pause button. It is right in the heart of the working week that the moon is not only returning for its first visit to your relationship sector for the year but its first since it helped the sun wrap up all planetary activity on the romantic front just before Christmas. From the moment these romantically charged lunar vibes kick in they will be met but planets that can bring the spirit of romance and adventure together. Our eyes in the sky. The moon enters lucky Sagittarius today giving us a chance to lean into our innermost vision. When the moon is in this sign, it is an amazing time to get things started and take major risks in life. No matter what the outcome, we can be winners in some capacity. Therefore, this is the ideal time to take care of important matters. The results will be favorable. After a rocky start to the year, we are truly starting to get our groove back when Mercury moves forward in Capricorn on Wednesday. With both Mars and Mercury out of retrograde, 
we can now begin to work toward our goals and ambitions for the year. Start by developing a game plan for how to achieve your dreams, including putting your resume out there. After weeks of focusing on reputation and image, it's time to follow the beat of our own drummer when the sun enters Aquarius on Friday. Thanks to this quirky and rebellious energy, we will be more future-focused as we navigate the unpredictable with innovation. Saturday marks the first new moon of 2023 as the moon enters Aquarius, pushing us all out of our comfort zone. This is a great night to explore new horizons with confidence and passion. Don't be afraid to question everything. You might get to the root of some deeper feelings. In the morning, the Scorpio moon sextals the Capricorn sun, a harmonious influence to kick off the day. Easygoing conversations regarding our goals or dreams inspire a deeper understanding of our underlying motivations. We recognize what drives us to succeed and can offer ourselves greater compassion for falling into traps of perfectionism or analysis paralysis. We feel safe being ourselves without needing to put up walls. If you're lucky enough to have a job, the universe supports team efforts and careful planning. You may feel especially competitive now. Be confident about your abilities. Accept criticism as just a tool to improve your performance. Take care to make the best impression with superiors. It may be helpful to review your duties. Get the facts and avoid getting sucked in by gossip. Rumors are sometimes better left unshared. You have a natural talent for teaching. Look for ways to use this ability now. This could be a powerfully positive time. Do your best to stay organized when faced with multiple demands. Seek expert advice to help improve your knowledge and performance. Marketing efforts or employee training sessions could see you shine. These are positive days for research. Events could offer you a platform for speaking up and sharing ideas. This is a high-energy time. Get as much done as possible and prepare for things to slow and need review or revision as the time goes on. It's important to be honest and direct about your work. The more confident you feel, the better your chances of success and recognition from people in authority. Do your best to finish assignments. There may be some unexpected last-minute changes. There can be difficulties in communication if you aren't calm and clear. Someone close is likely to test your patience, so keep your sense of humor. Get as much done as possible in the mornings. Things may take longer or demand careful review. Avoid harboring feelings of anger. The amount you're being paid could be an issue. Keep personal goals clearly in mind and have faith in yourself. Around sunup, the moon sextals Pluto, engendering catharsis. Ties can be strengthened with those who have earned our trust. Alternatively, we can let go of relationships that are not aiding our evolution. We can also acknowledge and release problematic or self-defeating behaviors. The moon falls into a three-hour void period following this aspect's perfection, encouraging stillness overtaking action. 